Hey everyone. Well, you know, I, I realized I've never done a uh, never done a video on my bike and my trailer combo, um, and uh, I'm going on a trip this uh, in a few days to Tennessee to the uh, BMW uh, rally in uh, Lebanon, Tennessee, and I packed up all my camping gear. I've done a few photos of uh, all the stuff in the in the trailer itself, but I've never really done a video on the trailer in terms of towability. And um, uh, a lot of people are querying me about, you know, how well does it tow, and they would never tow a trailer with the K1600. It's not capable. Well, I'm here to tell you it's, it's more than capable, okay? This thing is a, a freight train. GE should build these things instead of BMW because, I mean, it really pulls this trailer like it's not even back there. But a couple of things I want to talk about real quick. Um, when the trailer weighs 220 pounds empty, it's solid aluminum. It's made in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, very well-built trailer. There is a look-alike copycat trailer on the market, which looks very similar to this for about half the price. And uh, one of the big things is none of this right here is welded on that trailer. It's all bolted together. In fact, the trailer bolts together entirely. It's not a welded frame like this is. Uh, this also has um, a torsion axle suspension, capable of uh, handling up to 650 pounds of uh, towing capacity. Uh, it, well, that's included with its, uh, with its own weight, so it, you can put an additional 400 pounds in it. Right now, I'm going to guess I'm running about 400 pounds total, maybe 450, actually. Um, I upgraded the tires when I first bought it uh, to uh, Carlisle Radials. Um, they uh, handle 80 pounds of pressure at a max load of 600, almost 600 pounds, so they're, they're rated properly for the trailer, and they're speed rated to about 85 or 90 uh, miles per hour. I'll never pull it that fast with this with this uh, setup, but I wanted to pull it faster than 55, which is what the bias supply tires were rated at. Um, I normally don't put anything in the ice chest when I'm traveling, only because it adds extra weight, um, but I do fill it like at the end just before I go to the campsite, so it's got ice and drinks and stuff like that in it. So uh, right now it's empty and it'll stay empty uh, um, all of the trip until I get to where I'm going. Uh, the bike rack uh, is a Yakima uh, bike rack um, I bought at REI. Um, I had a, the other uh, uh, bike um, carriers uh, from a previous rack I had on a previous trailer. Um, and I like to take my bike with me, especially camping, because you end up at campgrounds where the bathroom might be, you know, half a mile away. And it's nice to have a, what I call a bathroom bike. So that's why I bring it. Uh, it doesn't affect the handling at all on the, on the, uh, on the trailer. Uh, the hitch, um, the, well, the hitch and the swivel uh, tongue I bought uh, from Open Road Outfitters in Florida. Um, they make the whole hitch assembly, which I installed myself. It's got four relays, so it's separate of the CAN bus, so the can, it, there's no cutting into the CAN bus at all. You just uh, splice into the brake lines, um, and that's all detailed. I'm not going to get into that. But anyway, so there you go. Um, that's the basic trailer setup um, as you see it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mount the camera to the uh, handlebars of the bicycle. We're going to go down the highway. I'm going to comment um, on the uh, process as we go uh, and I'll let you see um, how well it handles and uh, what you can expect, especially from the uh, swivel tongue that's on it. So with that being said, give me a few minutes here and we'll hit the road. That was nice. The guy just stopped and asked me where I was going. So anyway, so now we're going to do a roadworthy test. We've got a little couple curves coming up here, then we're going to hit the highway and uh, do a little 70-mile-an-hour uh, jaunt down the highway just to let you see how well the, uh, uh, it all handles. Now, a couple of um, uh, minor notes. Um, I, try to, I, ride in, I, found, I found for me the rain mode um, and um, two passengers with, uh, with bags um, for the um, uh, ESA uh, is how I have it set, which is, for me is a little difficult because I'm not that tall, so I end up on my tippy toes a lot. Uh, when I'm stopping, but it just adds, it gives a better uh, better ride uh, ride height for the trailer. Um, it feels like it uh, reacts better. It doesn't doesn't lunge at all, um, and uh, it's very smooth that way. So rain mode, uh, ESA two up is uh, how I ride. Okay, when I have my trailer connected. So here we go. And it's uh, sprinkling a little bit, so of course big K bike ain't got a problem with that. Fargo ahead of us. Oh, no, I'm good. What is it for? 
<laughs> I sure will. I'm getting ready to retire, so I won't be needing one. Ah. Hey, I, I, you'll be a good, I appreciate your business. You'll be a good hand. I got a three-year-old, seven-year-old daughter. I live right in the next street. I'm betting me. Okay. I've a lot of people. All right, cool. What's your name? Kim. Kim. Yeah. Well, you too. All right, Patrick, I'll keep you in mind. That's the same guy that stopped by earlier and asked me where I was going. I guess when you're a real estate salesperson, you're always on. That's why I got out of that business. Did that for about six months. All right, here we go. Only with a trailer, you got to make sure you cut the corners properly. Now, this trailer isn't uh, any wider, actually, at the wheelbase uh, than the bike is uh, with the bag. Well, maybe about two to three inches wider. But what does make the bike wider, or the trailer wider, is I've got that Yakima bike rack on there, and those uh, bike poles do stick out uh, past the wheel wells a little bit. Not a lot. But you got to kind of make sure that you don't get close to something that could snag on them, uh, and then that would be a real problem. Uh, I don't make them any shorter because uh, I can actually put three bicycles on that trailer, and I do have occasions where I ride uh, with friends that... Um, have motorcycles and also like the bicycle, which is uh, how I got into motorcycling. And um, in this way, I, they can go with me and I can carry their bicycle with me and we can go uh, ride our motorcycles to a nice bike trail and then, uh, and then go ride our bicycle to the best of both worlds. Anyways, I've been taking these a little faster, but it just started to rain and I'm a little concerned that the street might be a little uh, greasy right now. Um, if it wasn't raining right now, we'd be going much faster than this. The, uh, the swivel tongue really helps uh, the trailer. As you're probably noticing that the bike is leaning with the camera staying upright. Uh, and that's because of the, uh, the cameras mounted to the handlebars of the bicycle. Anyway, we'll get on the expressway here in just a minute. For a quick ride. Alright, we're going to have my, uh, my shield on my face mask. On my helmet, so hopefully you're not getting a lot of wind noise. All right. Jump on the interstate right now. As far as braking goes, uh, the weight doesn't really seem to affect it that much. I mean, this bike has got notorious brakes, so I'd never be concerned about stopping even trailer. It's probably about 450. I'm going to guess no more than 500 pounds of total weight that I'm pulling. The bike doesn't really notice it. Um, and the tongue weight is pretty light. I can lift the trailer up with one hand and attach it to the bike very easily. Okay, here we go. Bird gone in. So, I don't know if you can tell, um, I think the camera is still attached up there. Right now I'm doing 60. As soon as we get uh, past this interchange down here, I'll be able to bump up the speed a little bit. I normally ride 70 to 75 when I'm pulling the trailer. And uh, honestly, it hauls it just fine. There's no, uh, there's no sway back there. Uh, there's no lunging. Even going over these, uh, these uh, car strips right now, uh, there's no lunge at all. Um, you know, honestly, it, it, it feels like it's not back there. Now, when you get about 80 or 85, uh, yeah, then you can start to feel that the bike doesn't, the bike starts having a mic of its own. So, but anywhere 70, 75, uh, it's all day long comfort with this. So I would not be uh, worried about wanting to travel uh, with a K1600. And, and probably any trailer. I mean, uh, I only know this trailer. So for me, I can only, I can only talk about this one. Here we go. And, uh, about probably 75 right here up with the cruise on. There you go, one handed. Uh, it's raining, it's a little windy out right now, but uh, you can probably tell us, I'm sure you can probably tell there's a bee up there on that perch. We're going to get a little bit of crosswind, obviously. Uh, the bike is moving back and forth, but the trailer is rock solid. That bagger on the other side of the road here going past us. 
So go to uh, yeah, Tennessee on Wednesday for the uh, BMW rally in Lebanon, Tennessee. And I'm taking all my camping gear with me. I'm going to glam. Uh, <laughs> and you'll, I'll post some photos of the video so you'll see what I mean by I'm going to be glamping. Uh, I've got a friend going with me. Uh, and we're going to have a Kelsey shelter set up. We're going to have in the, uh, in the uh, trailer. Um, but yeah, so it's, uh, you're going to do a lot of, uh, long distance riding, and you don't want to spend $200 a night for a hotel, or even $85 a night, you know, a lot of money for a hotel, uh, camping's the way to do it, as long as the weather's nice. The traffic slows down in front of me, that's why it's slowing down. Uh, there you go. Uh, I'm going to turn around and go back the other way. End up uh, finishing this video when I get back to the house. I also have a full tank of gas. I just purchased gas before I start the video. So uh, I'm fully weighted down here. I want to put another probably 30 pounds of clothes on the bike for the trip uh, that I don't have in the bags right now. But uh, still, <coughs> overall, not going to really make a difference um, in terms of the handling of the bike. Uh, it's still rock solid planted. Um, like I said in the pre video, um, it's got radial tires. I, 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 I uh, took the bias ply tires off when I first bought it. I mean, literally, as soon as I hauled it home, I changed the tires and uh, put the, bi I put the uh, radials on. I put the, uh, the swivel tongue on it as well. And, uh, and what can I say? It's a it's, it's a great trailer. If you don't know a Luma, you should get to know them. Uh, I'm sure that that Chinese knockoff version of it is probably fine uh, <laughs> in terms of uh, you know it's probably, it's probably worth the money. I, I, again, I can't speak for how well it tows, or I, I I guarantee you can't put a bike rack on it like I did uh, because they're not welded. They're um, they're only uh, folded down, so you can't hold the weight um, and the stress that the Aluma can. And I've towed this, this bicycle thousands of miles on that on that uh, on that Yakima rack. It's, it's solid. Okay? So I don't have to worry about that at all. I'm riding into the wind right now. Uh, a little more buffeting. But uh, again, the trailer is rock solid. You can probably see my hand. I'm not, uh, I'm not in some kind of white knuckle death grip. That would do when we pass a bigger vehicle. 180 right now. Yeah, that was comfortable. Not a problem at all. Uh, so I'm doing a solid 80 on the, on the speedometer. 79 on the GPS. There we go. Take it off here. to be out here doing this, but, you know, it actually makes it a better review because when you think about it, you never know what you're going to run into when you're on a trip.
And uh, it gets a lot of looks, too, especially with that bicycle on top of it. <laughs> a lot of people don't expect that. But that was my main reason for purchasing the Aluma. I called Aluma Direct, and I asked them uh, if they thought it could handle that kind of uh, stress. And they assured me that their welds would hold really well. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't a cheap trailer at all. You get what you pay for, right? As far as uh, low speed maneuverability, not an issue. Uh, except for the fact that it's longer, uh, you know, you gotta you gotta kind of pay attention to you know your relationship to other items in, in your space. It, uh, it's no different than, than riding the bike without how on a trailer. There's uh, that, that could probably get out of rain mode and go back into uh, road mode. See how it, road mode just hits too hard for me with the trailer. It just seems to make uh, you want to, you know, you lurch the trailer forward because it hits harder. I'm asking people here. So uh, that's why I prefer being in rain mode when I'm towing the trailer. It just, to me, it's just uh, it's, it's a smoother transition. You're, you're more one with the unit. Uh, versus being a, a bike tanking on something, you know, if that makes any sense. So uh, that's my recommendation, anyway. And I'm not in a hurry to go anywhere anyway pulling a trailer. I mean, if you're going to ride around a dynamic mode pulling a trailer, maybe you don't need a trailer. <laughs> so. If you're still watching at this point, uh, you're, you're a real... Uh, hardcore enthusiast, <laughs> but I do appreciate it, and I uh, want to give you a real, you know, a real uh, life test of, uh, of what this is like. I mean, we're hitting things right now, we're hitting traffic, we're hitting, you know, crappy roads, we're, we're hitting highways, we're hitting bad weather, uh, it's all real world, you know. you have it, folks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this now. So if you need any uh, any more information on where to get an Aluma, uh, of course they have, a, they have a website, aluma.com. Um, I think it's aluma.com. I don't think there's anything else to that. It might be alumatrailer.com. Uh, but they're an American-made company. I have a, uh, another one of their utility trailers I haul my motorcycle with when I got to take it in for service or, or whatever. Um, and uh, they're, they're just wonderful trailers. I'm, I'm sold on them. Uh, and there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. And I'll see you next time out here in the wild.